Okay, so first and foremost, we aren't going to see an indictment today. I told you last night, we're not going to see anything today. We're not going to see anything until Wednesday. But I can tell you the timeline in which it's all going to play out. Now. Tomorrow, the Manhattan DA, Alvin Bragg, will indict Donald Trump. The indictment will be filed tomorrow. And from then, they will negotiate when he's going to come and turn himself in to be processed, be arraigned, which probably won't be until next week from the sound of it. Once Trump is indicted, the DA's office will reach out to Trump and his Secret Service detail so that they can orchestrate the absolute mass chaos that's going to be him turning himself over to be arraigned. But what this also means is while he's arraigned and while he's in custody, the Secret Service will be there to protect him. <laughs> and Ali Alexander, the guy who orchestrated the Stop the Seal rally on January 6th, the, the rally guy, which, mind you, I thought Ali Alexander was a woman for a while, so I'm sorry for misgendering you, Ali. And the fact that I've seen a picture of him now, I'm sorry. I had you all wrong. Anyway, Ali Alexander is now saying, don't worry about the NYPD because we're going to take care of them. Good luck. I am loving the way that they're all just taking themselves out. Oh, and by the way, on top of all of this, today in civil court, Donald Trump was uh, having a lawsuit move forward from E. Jean Carroll. And some MAGA Yahoo called in a bomb threat to the courthouse. Enjoy your prison sentence, because that's a federal crime. <laughs> they're owning themselves. It's like a one-man crime spree. Cleaning up the streets of America, one mag at a time. <laughs> but back to blue. Fucking idiots. <laughs> I think that Bob Costello has changed this case dramatically. I think that Bragg no, now only has two possible results from that. Number one, he can say, all right, I'm going to try to make the case without Cohen. He cannot use Cohen as a witness anymore. That would be unethical because of the testimony that uh, Costello gave. Or he could say, look, I have to drop the case. He may not be able to make it without Cohen. But if he can't make it without Cohen, he can't make it because no ethical prosecutor is allowed to put on as a witness somebody who has told the lies and has contradicted himself so much. So I think that Bob Costello, it's a game changer. I think maybe that's the reason for the delay here. I think ethical experts are now telling Bragg, wait a minute. You cannot use Cohen. So if you can make it through Pecker, if you can make it through some of the other people, okay, go ahead. But if you can't make it without Cohen, you cannot bring this charge. Okay, so I'm done with the updates until the Manhattan DA gets their shit together. Because everybody on here is trying to blame me like I am the district attorney in New York. I am not. What I am doing is telling you how things should go in a normal proceeding. I cannot control the fact that this is not normal. So when something happens, I'll tell you what happens. But until something happens, I'm not saying shit no more. Yes, the grand jury did not convene today like they were supposed to. They were told to stay home and we will see you tomorrow, as in Thursday. Again, not my decision. I don't know why. There is speculation that there could be another rebuttal witness. There's speculation that there could have been a threat. There's speculation that they could want the grand jury to vote on the indictment closer to his surrender. There are a plethora of things that could be at play, but I'm not going to speculate anymore because it's, it's speculation. And apparently, none of this is going in terms of how normal court proceedings should at this point anymore. I'm not Miss Cleo. I'm not John Edward. I can't tell you what's going to happen. I can't channel the ghost of Spiru Agnew on the other side. We all just have to be patient because like this, this, it's going to be a couple days of this. And there's nothing we can do because the court process and all of these factors have never been done before and nobody wants to do them wrong. That's all I have to say about that. But if you can't make it without Cohen, you cannot bring this charge.